Hey YouTube, it's Tanya, VSG Tanya 2011, and this is my week 57 update. Uh, 57 weeks ago, I had the VSG surgery. I'll run through the numbers real quick because um, I'm excited. Uh, uh, before I started the pre op diet, I was 272.8. Day of surgery, November 17, 2011, I was 255.6. Last week, week 56, I was 164.7. Um, and had I was up 1.6 last week. This week, this morning, I was 160.1. 160.1. I lost 4.6 pounds this week. Okay, I'm going to go through it in a minute. But altogether, I've lost 112.7 pounds. I am less than one pound away from my goal, which is 159. Which it's 159 point, I don't care, whatever. It could be 159.9, I don't care. I just want to see 159 on the scale, and that's my final goal, and then I'll be completely done. Um, you know, I've said before I'm happy with where I am, and I don't think a few tenths of a pound is really going to make a difference between, you know, how I feel about myself and how I feel like I look in clothes or anything, but just to see that number on the scale will make me so happy. So I am hoping before Christmas I'll have a nice Christmas wish of 159, but we'll see. Um... First of all, let me just say thank you to everybody who commented on um, my last video about um, my grandpa passing. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the prayers and support and comments. And um, the discussion with my kids actually went a lot better than I expected. They a trooper. It's like they really just took it with ease. Um, my son was a little bit sad, but I thought he was going to like break down and like just lose it, but he didn't. He was he was fine. And my daughter, who's five, actually, um, the things that she's come out with in the last week are just, God, I can't even imagine. The, when we told her that Papa passed, he went to heaven, we weren't going to see him anymore, the first thing she said was, um, I guess we're going to have to sell his house now. Like, what five-year-old thinks of something like that? And so, she's, it has brought up questions over the last week, like, who's going to die next? Um, when are we going to die? Um, so, and then with, you know, the whole... Thing that happened last Friday that's brought up a lot of questions about are we going to get shot and, and that kind of thing so we've been talking about death a lot in the family and um not in like a really sad sad way but in like a matter of fact kind of way but um I think that's kind of to be ex expected considering all the things that have happened in the last week so um so it was kind of a tough this I'm not gonna say it was kind of a tough week this was a tough week um Friday night, my, my husband and I had planned to stay in the French Quarter because the weekend before was his birthday and he had been on call for work. And so we had had it scheduled for a while. And my grandfather's services were on Saturday. And so we decided, we'll, we'll just go spend a night in the French Quarter. We already had the room paid for. So, you know, we just have a night away. So I didn't even get to spend Friday night with my kids after all the stuff that happened. And I, uh, you know, kind of felt awkward about that, but they were with my parents, and so I didn't feel like they were deprived or anything, and they gave them lots of love, so, um, we got up early Saturday, uh, yeah, Saturday morning, and, uh, went to my parents' house, changed clothes, got the kids dressed in their, um, nice clothes, and we went to the services, and it was kind of, it was kind of a happy and sad day, because, you know, my grandpa was 90, he, he would have been 91 in February, so you can't be sad about a full, long life like that. And um, we had a lot of family come in from out of town that I hadn't seen in um, several years. And so I was excited to get to see people who I hadn't seen in a while. And I got a lot of comments about my weight. I mean, a lot of people have been seeing me on YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, on uh, Facebook. So they weren't, like, shocked when they saw me. They knew what to expect. But they were, you know, a lot, I heard a lot of, you look beautiful, You, I'm so proud of you, blah, blah, blah. So that that was really nice. Um, it was nice to get to see everybody and and not feel self conscious, you know. Although I did kind of feel you feel self conscious, but in a different way because you know everybody's kind of looking at you and you know it's very revealing and um, exposing, but um, you know not not in a bad way. Just it's different. So, but it was nice. Um, so let me talk about my numbers and why I think I was down this week because I did Saturday was a strange we didn't eat most of the day I, I brought protein bars with me and I ate some in the limo on the way to the um the uh cemetery and it just that was like a really weird off day and then um Sunday we had something going on I can't remember my days are like all screwed up um 
Oh, I know. Sunday, all like, oh, like for about eight hours on Sunday, I made on um, chocolate, like candy dip pretzels with like sprinkles and stuff on them. And then I did the same thing, finished up Monday night because we had to get, I was doing them for teachers at school. And um, I munched on a few pretzels and like not a whole pretzel, you know, chocolate dip pretzel because I did like the pretzel rods and then the little individual pretzels. But I did, you know, a little bit of snacking, snacking on that. And, um, you know, usually my motto is to keep a no fail environment. Don't bring the shit in the house so then you don't have it to eat. But, you know, Christmas time, it's hard to not bring it in the house when you're making things for people. And so, and I kind of feel conflicted about making sweets for people when I don't really eat sweets anymore. So is it good for me to give things that are bad to bad for you to people but then it's the holidays and you can have a sweet treat i don't know so like i've been having like mixed emotions about the whole giving out sweets thing but i'm still doing it um so anyway that was sunday and monday doing those things and um i was like normally i would have done uh, a yogurt and uh shaking yogurt day monday and tuesday but Monday I had my luncheon from my office, and Tuesday I had a luncheon with a few people that I work with that aren't in my office, they're, they're in a different office, and we don't get together that often. So, um, uh, for those two lunch meals, I did I picked protein first, um, I had a little bit of veggie, and like uh, for the Monday, I did, I did have like a little, a tiny brownie, and turtles are my favorite, I don't know if everybody has turtles everywhere, but it's like an almond cookie, and a big glob of chocolate on top with pecans, and um, Really all I like is the pecans and the chocolate. So I basically just ate the chocolate off the top and didn't eat the cookie because I figured if I don't love it, why am I going to eat it? So I did let myself have that on Monday. But other than that, on those days, I had shakes and yogurt for my meals. So, uh, you know, I kind of did what I said I was going to do is just do shakes and yogurt um, to stay on track during the holidays. Um, but I had a battle, like seriously mentally battle to stay on track this week. And... Um, I, I'm going to say I worked hard at it this week to stay on track, even though I did let myself have some snacky stuff. This is a time I would have normally just, um, eaten whatever I wanted and a lot of it. And, um, and with the, with the sweets and stuff, I feel like I can eat more at a time than, you know, what I should. But, um, so I really had to mentally put the work in this week to not go overboard. So I'm proud of myself about that. The other thing is my arthritis. I think I'm in like a full-fledged flare-up with my arthritis. Um, my right ankle, my right thumb, like you see how the knuckle sits out like that? Like that's a normal thumb and that's my arthritis thumb. It's are killing me lately. Like the last week or so, it's been real bad. And I have a brace that I'm supposed to wear and I've been sleeping with it the last few nights um, because it's so bad. And my ankle swelled up on Tuesday or Monday and um like I mean really swelled up bad and when I weighed on Tuesday morning I weighed 165.7 um which was up like a pound from the week before but I had been 162.1 a couple of days before so I knew I was retaining a lot of fluid, but it still messes with your head when you see that and you question, am I gaining my weight back? Especially if you've had a few snacky things like those pretzels. And so that really, I battled through it. And if, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you might have saw I did a post um, on Tuesday morning. I took some pictures of myself when I got to work to remind myself that I'm not going back to being that 272 pound girl. It's a bump in the road. It It's a blip in the map and it's not, that does not define who I am and where I'm going and you know what I'm going to do with my life and so um when I I find and I know I've said this before in previous videos and I, it shocks me every time I find when I get a good night's sleep I lose weight um of course the last week I've been getting maybe five hours of sleep at night um just because we have so much going on and I just haven't been going to bed early. So last night I told my kids, do not wake me up early in the morning. We're off of school. That My kids' last day of school was yesterday. So mom's home. I took vacation. Do not wake me up. I'll have your breakfast sitting out on the counter. I have milk in the refrigerator for you. I already poured. All you got to do is get your cup out. You do not need to wake me up. I think my husband basically threatened them to not wake me up because it seems like when it's not a school day, my daughter always gets up at 630 in the morning. And I just, I wanted to sleep past 7. Is it too much to ask to sleep past 7 o'clock in the morning? 
So I got a good night's sleep last night. I, I probably didn't get a full eight hours, but I um, probably got at least seven. And um, my daughter did come in. They got up at 5.30 this morning. Um, and I did hear them stirring around. My husband said they were up, but he put the TV on for them, which we don't normally do that early in the morning. But um, he knew I wanted to sleep. And uh, she did come in my room about quarter to seven to tell me she had an ant bite on her foot. I told her to only come in if something was bleeding or if the house was on fire, but, that, you know, they don't. Anyway, I think getting a good night's sleep is what helped with my swelling of my ankle. My swelling was down a lot this morning when I got up, and um, it just, my body responds so well to getting a full night's sleep. I just wish I could do that more when I'm not, when I am working and not, you know, not just when I'm on vacation and stuff. So I am off for the next two weeks, and hopefully I can continue to get some good night's sleep and, um... I hope I see 159 this week. Oh, it'll be so nice to see it before Christmas. But if I don't, I don't. But it would just be so super awesome. So something else I did this week is when I went to the gym the other day, I um I've been I have been wanting to ask the trainers that they are to do this. Um, back when I went at the end of July, or early August, and I had my personal training sessions that I did. Um, they had done like the thing where you hold the thing and it, it takes your body fat and all. And I think I was around 31% body fat at that time. And I was like, oh, I didn't, I, mean, I didn't even know what a good number was. I really didn't know until after I did it this time. So I went and asked them if I could do it again because it's been like five months since I did it. And I've been doing, ever since then, I started doing a lot of more strength training. Um, I added to my cardio that I do. So I feel like I've built up a little muscle. And, um... So when I did it uh, yesterday, it said that my body fat was 29%. So I think I dropped my body fat down by 2%. So I think that's pretty good. I looked up to see what's a normal or healthy um, body fat for a woman my age. I'm 38 and I'm 5'7". Um, I always forget to say how tall I am. And it said that a normal range, I think it said, was between 24 and um, 31%. So I'm in a normal body fat range. So that's pretty cool. And um, I mean, my, like my upper body, other than like this loose skin, like you see, you can see I'm getting like muscles in my arms. I know a few people commented on the back to basics uh, WLS thing. Like um, you can see I'm getting like some definition in my arms and stuff. So I knew I was getting more muscular, but um, still around my, my belly, of course, has all the loose skin and my hips have like, you know, it's just the fat that's going to be hard to get rid of, but plastics. Um, so anyway, let me see. I got notes to make sure. Okay. Um, things have been going on the last, okay, today we decorated um, sugar cookies and I, I did, I ate I had like a piece of cookie that broke off, but I didn't eat one whole cookie. Tomorrow we're doing gingerbread cookies and, um packing stuff for the neighbors. We're going to do some of the pretzels again and give out the, all that stuff. Yesterday when I went to a thing from well, my son's school for his last day of school before the holiday, um, we did something neat, and I think I'm going to do it on Christmas Day. It's called ice cream in a bag. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Maybe some teachers have heard of it. So super simple, okay? You just do half and half. I'll put the recipe, maybe I'll put the recipe below, um, but it's just half and half sugar, which I'm going to do it with Splenda, and... Um, vanilla imitation vanilla and you just mix that up in a bag and you can put a topping in there if you want or you can put nothing they had strawberries or m&ms or chocolate chips that they could do you put that in a quart size ziploc bag like a freezer ziploc bag you seal it up real good then you take a gallon size ziploc bag and you fill it three quarters of the way with ice and then six tablespoons of rock salt you put the other little bag inside the bag with um, with the ice and you seal that up and then you just lay it on the tile and you just flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. Just kind of like how an ice cream machine churns it. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. And um, after like 10 minutes, it's ice cream. You go, you take the little bag out and you go rinse it off so that way you don't have the, all that salt on the outside. And you just get a spoon and you eat right out the bag. And the kids loved it. And some of the parents did it too. They ran out right before it got to where I could make one for myself. Um... So I didn't get to actually taste it, but everybody was saying how good it was. So I thought, this is a good Christmas activity. You know, it's always like after things start kind of wind down after dinner, you're looking for things to do. And um, so I thought that might be something fun for me to do with the kids. And I know a few people in my family always like little crafty things that we do when we're all together. So I think I'm going to do that. It's real super easy. And I think um, everybody would enjoy that. Um, 
What's the other thing? Oh, so Saturday, I know I'm going to be eating like crap because we're going to the New Orleans Bowl at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I know I'm going to have popcorn then. And then I think we're going, we're, we're going with a big group of friends. And then I think after that, we're going to go maybe walk down to, it's called Fulton Street, where uh, it's down at, close to the French Quarter by Harris Casino. And they have like Santa Claus that's out there. And, um, they got all kind of restaurants, and it's really a nice area. We'll probably eat something out there, which I'll probably make a good food choice there. And then after that, I think we're going to a Hornets basketball game back at the arena, um, which means I'll be having probably more popcorn. <laughs> so I know Saturday's going to be kind of a crap food day, but, you know, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, and then, of course, we have Christmas coming up. I'm so excited. I think we're kind of redoing. Um, before John moved here, he always used to watch It's a Wonderful Life on the um, – on Christmas Eve, and we've never really been able to do that because we always had family activities go on on Christmas Eve, but things have kind of changed uh, the last couple of years, so I think we're going to have um, a movie night watching It's a Wonderful Life here at the house, and we'll have my parents over and my grandma, and we're going to just maybe have hot cocoa and, you know, just relax and watch the movie, and then on, on Christmas Day, everybody from the family, which I don't have a huge family, but everybody's coming here, and we'll open presents and eat dinner. And, um, you know, maybe do the ice cream activity and, you know, whatever else, you know, something fun. I'll, I'll think of some fun things to do. But um, anyway, I hope y'all all have a wonderful holiday. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And if not, I hope you just enjoy the holiday, some time off of work. Um, pray for me that I make it to 159. I hope so. But if I don't, that's okay, too. That's all right. Um, y'all go out. Have a wonderful week. Have a very Merry Christmas. Go out and make it happen. Bye, y'all.